It's a no-brainer that SCHD is one of the kings in the dividend ETF space. With a 10-year average annualized return of 11.03%, at that rate of return, you're going to be swimming in money in no time and have a high dividend yield of nearly 3.5%, which is over two times the amount of passive income you'll receive from just the S&P 500 alone. Now, SHD is one of the best dividend ETFs for those who want to retire early due to its high dividend yield to fund the lifestyle you've always dreamed of, but there are some dividend ETFs that can do the same as SHD if not better. So in this video, I want to be going over three of the best dividend ETFs that are on track to crush SHD by 2030, which is coming up way faster than some people even think. As for anything in the stock market, there's no perfect or so-called best ETF to buy. So I'm here to share my ideas on what are some SCHD alternatives that you can look into to add to your ETF portfolio arsenal that can make you a ton of sustainable money in the long run through capital appreciation and snowballing that sweet dividend income. So in no particular order, I personally really love this ETF and that is DGRO or iShares Core Dividend Growth ETF, which is a dividend growth ETF that seeks to track US stocks with a history of consistently growing dividends that are broadly diversified across many different industries. DGRO's top sectors are financials, healthcare, information technology, and industrials. The top 10 companies are some of the best in the dividend ETF realm, like JP Morgan, ExxonMobil, and Johnson & Johnson. And DGRO even has some great growth stocks to give you some insane capital appreciation to grow your money way faster than it usually would be from big tech names of Apple and Microsoft, which have been totally carrying the returns of DGRO, and I believe will sustain these returns well into the future. Its expense ratio is really low at 0.08%, and since the fund's inception has provided outstanding returns of almost 11% annually, and DGRO's dividend yield is lower compared to SCHD at around 2.4%. But the overall goal of DGRO is to grow its dividends, which is evident by its 10.19% compounded dividend growth rate and nine consecutive years of raising its dividend payment to investors since the fund's inception in 2014. And since we only have data since 2014, over the past five years, DGRO is able to keep up with the SP 500 and SCHD. However, SCHD is the king of returns compared to the SP 500 and DGRO. However, over the past three years, DGRO is able to beat the SP 500 with over 26% returns, and SCHD is still the king over the past three years. And over the past year, it's a flip of DGRO and SCHD as DGRO beats SCHD with almost an 8% annualized return while the SCHD ETF is only up 1.48%. Another thing I love about DGRO is how diversified it is with over 424 different holdings. And since it has a high amount of both healthcare and technology, these sectors will typically pay a lower dividend yield to start off, but over time they will increase their dividend payments as most likely these companies will reinvest their profits back into the business to generate more profits, which will then increase their share price and all of which benefit you as the investor. So if you are a dividend growth investor that wants to not only grow their dividends over time, but also have excellent share price appreciation then DGRO is an ETF that I would look deeper into. All right, guys, the next dividend ETF that I have on my list is VIG or Vanguard's Dividend Appreciation ETF, which is a passively managed fund that seeks to track the performance of the S&P US Dividend Growers Index, comprised of large cap equity emphasizing stocks with a record of growing their dividends year over year. VIG's top sectors are technology coming in at number one, followed by healthcare and financials. In the top 10 companies are some familiar growth names that have totally outperformed the SP 500 over the past five and even 10 years, that of Apple, Microsoft, United Health, Visa, and Broadcom. And it even has some great dividend stocks to provide some stable dividend payments, that of Procter & Gamble, Johnson & Johnson, and ExxonMobil. VIG's expense ratio is really low at 0.06%, which is excellent because Vanguard funds typically have some of the lowest expense ratios in the ETF stock market game. And over the past 10 years, VIG has provided amazing returns of almost 10.7% 
annually, and one of the drawbacks of VIG is its lower dividend yield of around 1.9%, which is pretty low for a dividend ETF in my opinion. But the goal of VIG is to grow its dividends over time, and I provide an initially high dividend yield because it will invest its money into dividend growers, where if they increase their dividend payments over time, their share price will grow, and the businesses will make more money over time and pay out more money in the form of dividends. What's special about VIG is it has a five-year dividend growth rate of 9.5%, and fun fact is in the past three years, VIG has had an insane dividend growth rate of 11.79%, coupled with a 10-year consecutive dividend growth it has paid out more and more dividends every year on a quarterly basis. Now, in terms of performance, VIG has actually beat the SP500 with over 86% returns over the past five years. Now, in the past three years, VIG is actually trailing SCHD once again with over 26% gains, and it's actually beaten the SP500, and SCHD is the king over the past three years. However, over the past one year, we can see VIG top SCHD with over 11% returns and SCHD giving only 1.48% gains. With 317 large cap stocks, VIG is a very popular dividend ETF choice for those who want to grow their dividends. And even though it has a lower starting dividend yield, with the growth and appreciation of share price, it's actually able to keep up with its S&P 500 and SCHD like counterparts and even beat them in certain points on on the charts. VIG also has a longer track history than something like DGRO as VIG has been in inception since 2006 while DGRO only has a track history since 2014. And check out VIG because it might be the dividend ETF for you. And lastly, the third best dividend ETF to potentially crest SCHD by 2030 is none other than DGRW or Wisdom Tree's U.S. Quality Dividend Growth Fund, which seeks to track the investment results of dividend-paying large-cap companies with growth characteristics in the U.S. equity market. DGRW's top sectors are technology, healthcare, and industrials, and the top 10 companies are some of the best dividend stocks in the world like Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Procter & Gamble, and since its highest allocation is technology, of course it's gonna have some of the best and greatest tech names like Apple and Microsoft. Its expense ratio is a bit on the higher side of 0.28%, which is around four times as higher as some of the ETFs we talked about earlier. However, one thing to know is that higher expense ratios do eat up into your overall returns, so always keep that in mind. However, one of the pros of this dividend ETF is that it pays out its dividends on a monthly basis instead of a quarterly basis from its 1.74% dividend yield, which can allow you to snowball your dividends and compound your dividend income at a much faster rate. However, the downside is that the dividend growth is very inconsistent and these monthly dividend payments can fluctuate dramatically. So if you want something more consistent of a dividend payer and even a dividend grower, you can take a look at something like DGRO, VIG, or even an honorable mention, that of VYM by Vanguard. And over the past 10 years, DGRW has provided outstanding returns of almost 11.78% compounded annually and has even outperformed the SP500 over the past 10 years and it has even kept up with the index as of lately and even outperformed SCHD in the past year, five years, and even 10 years, which establishes DGRW as an SCHD slayer in the dividend growth ETF category. With 300 stock holdings, DGRW is such a great dividend paying ETF for those who not only want higher capital appreciation, but also a higher frequency of dividends paid on a monthly basis as opposed to a quarterly basis. I truly believe that DGRW can sustain this amazing growth trajectory and even all the ETFs that I mentioned as they all have a high allocation to big tech as a more aggressive play and sustainable long-term growth. And there you go guys, those are three of the best and most solid dividend ETFs that are on track and poised to crush SHD by 2030. Now if you guys like this video, please give it a like because this cute puppy did. And comment down below if you guys own any of these ETFs that I did talk about. If you guys are an SHD investor, VIG, DGRO, or even DGRW, or even those VYM investors, comment down below if you guys are and how many shares you guys have and your guys' thesis on these ETFs. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day and your week and your year and continue to crush in the stock market. Take care guys. Peace.